Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title, this is going to be an ASOS special occasion dress review. I did one a few months ago, but I thought I'd do an updated version to so stick around to see what I think of each of the dresses. So the first dress that I'm trying on is this maxi dress in black. This is how it looks. It has a very, quite a long slit down the side of the dress. And as you can see at the front, it's got quite a plungy neckline and some structure around the cups. I got this dress in a UK size four. I actually would have got a size six, but they didn't have the six. So I got it in a four. I actually thought the four would be too small. But actually, I do feel like it fits perfectly for a size four. There is a lot of stretch in this dress. It's quite a stretchy dress. Uh, one thing for me is I'm always worried about my boob area. I always feel like they're not, they don't quite fill out dresses. I'm a 32 B cup. So I do feel like in these types of dresses, they don't really give me much cleavage, which is fine. Um, and I do, I did sort of wonder if I was gonna tick tape myself in for the style of the dress. But I do feel like the cups are holding me quite well. At the back, it sort of has that sort of this crisscross start at the back. It zips from about here to here. It's a small zip, actually. It's not quite a long zip. Quite a small zip. I didn't have any problems really getting into the dress, which was good. Because usually I find dresses, I'm usually struggling with zips, buttons, getting in and out of it. I do feel quite comfortable in the dress. I do feel like it sits quite nicely on me. I am five foot three for reference, so I'm quite short, but I do feel like it is a very good length. I feel like it's quite a, glass, a classy looking dress. I feel like it would be nice for a cocktail event, sort of more of a formal cocktail event. Um, I feel like it could be something you could wear with a, a little pashmina over the shoulders. This side, there's a, lot, there's a boning here. I guess this gives structure to the plunge. So there is sort of like something here that structures the dress. It's got like a hard boning. I kind of like that though. I, I feel like it does give a bit more security because you do have some dresses where it feel quite flimsy. It would be moving around. And I think the bone here does give it some nice shape to the dress. So that's a positive there. Overall, I feel like the dress is fitting quite nicely. Like I said, I don't mind it around the boot. I think to be honest, a UK size four for me in this particular dress was a good choice, although I didn't really have a choice because there was no six, but I do feel like had I gone for an eight, it would have been too big. Six may have even have been slightly too big for this particular style. So I think a four, I mean, this is why you have to try things sometimes. You just don't know with the sizes and this is the problem. But I think a four, UK four for, for this style of dress was a really good choice. Right, this next dress is an ASOS design overlay halter slinky midi dress in olive green. Now, actually, this is not a favorite of mine, this dress. The color is very nice. I did like it on the model. I'd say the color is also true to how it looks on the website. I just, I don't know, I don't know if it's like the top area. Maybe it feels like a little bit loose or a little bit baggy. The sort of extra material, I'm not sure. It's kind of layered, as it said, so you've got a piece of material here. And then you've got a piece of material overlaying it on both sides. So it sort of kind of works like that. And then at the back, it is halted. It's halted next at the back, as you can see. And then it has like a little drape in here at the bottom. There's no zip to it. You literally just pull it on over and then tie it at the back. As I said, it's not a favourite of mine. I do, like I said, I feel like it does feel a little bit loose. Or maybe I just don't like the style of it on me. This was sale price £24.50. So it's not bad for an occasion dress if you're looking for something last minute or you're looking for something that you don't want to spend too much money on for the budget. So I would say it's pretty, you know, good for the price. I got this in a UK size six. So yeah, it does have like a slit at the very, at the very bottom of the dress, as you can see, at the back of the dress, which does make it easier for walking in. Uh, gives you that extra movement, especially if you're wearing heels. It can be always be tricky wearing midi maxi style dresses that are quite fitted to the leg and trying to walk in them, especially if you're not used to heels, which I am not used to heels. I don't really wear heels often. I'm a flat shoes trainer type of girl. So 
this is like i said i would probably rate this dress for the look of it it's quite simple which is nice if you're not looking for something with a lot of fuss um my only like i said i think my only grievance is probably the loose bits here but i would probably give this a good seven out of ten for at least the price that i paid okay this dress i want to say i love it i think it's so nice i think it's really unique when i saw it on the model i was like i really like how it looks on her it's something a little bit different i like the color the style i think it's very 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 pretty it's a maxi dress it goes all the way down to my feet see out but it goes all the way down to my feet and it's very satin flowy material very elegant you know very feel very nice in this dress for sure i paid £31.50, so it was on sale price. I just think it's a really, really nice dress. Unfortunately, here is where it gets a bit tricky. It doesn't fit at the back. Now, I cannot do this dress up to save my life. It will not do up. If I struggle, the buttons will pop. It's got three buttons at the back of the dress that are meant to fasten at the back. Those buttons are not getting any closer to the hooks. If I try, I think something's gonna pop off, I'm gonna go flying. So, I'm not gonna bother, I'm gonna be honest with you, it doesn't fit at the back. It is way too small. This is my usual UK size six. This is my usual UK size six dress. And, it's just too small. I just think it comes up really, really, really small. I think, I don't know whose back they were modeling it on. It just comes up very, very small for the back. I would probably have to size up to an eight. If that, um, it's such a shame, because like I said, it is a very unique dress. It is something that does look very nice. I don't know how it looks on camera, actually. Now looking at myself. I like how it looks in the mirror. I've got a mirror in front of me. I like how it looks in the mirror. I don't know if it's translating the same on the camera though. But it is just such a shame. It's such a nice dress. But like I said, it comes up way too small. So this is a no from me. Sorry, ASOS. It's a big fat no. Okay, this is the last and final dress that I got from ASOS. And this was one of my favourite dresses. This one is the Nana satin slip midi dress with towel front in burgundy. And when I saw it, I was like, oh, it's not going to be in stock in my size. Like, it looks so good. It's just going to be out of stock. But actually, I did manage to get it in a UK size 6. This is the size that I'm wearing, a UK size 6. It has cross tie details at the back. So you can see it's a lot going on there at the back there's a little crisscrossing and tying and it has a zip just here at the bottom and which is very handy it does have a little bit of stretch to it there's a little bit of stretch going on in the dress um the only thing with cow fronts is i do find that they can be a little bit risky you do probably um need a bit of boob tape just to sort of make sure you're not falling out of them and i don't have the biggest boobs but i do feel a bit like you know this side especially is could be a nip slip waiting to happen it has spaghetti style straps as you can see and then it has like a small slit at the back let's see at the bottom of the dress i just find it really simple i do find it really elegant red is the season sorry red is the color of the season so it is sort of on trend if you're into that type of thing and you want something more on trend i think burgundy is also a very safe type of red in comparison to the brighter bolder red so i do think burgundy does sort of fit in very well with black heels or gold um so i do think it can be a, an option to wear if you are looking to go out for an occasion this one was sale price uh, i think it was 11.50 yeah 11.50 sale price um again a nice length for me because like i said i am five foot three so it is a very good length for me it just kind of reaches around the calf so it's at the bottom of my calves just above the ankle and i suppose if i had heels on it would probably help with the length even better so that is my asos review i hope you enjoyed it i hope you actually hope you enjoyed my asos